And imagine. Happy birthday, Jenny. Okay. Well, I would, you know, I don't know, call me a radical, but I'd assume it's potentially a birthday present. Possibly. Okay, well. It could be a dead bird. It could be. <laughs> you know, I guess there's a way to find out. I don't know. Or we could guess. Uh, we can guess. You almost had blood arrows in there. I got suffocated. What are you doing? I got I got lost going down to Afghanistan. He escaped. He escaped. <laughs> Jen, mom, look at the camera. Oh, look at her. She's crying. <laughs> are you kidding? We have to share this with everybody on Saturday. Uh, what are you doing? I'm home on leave. Come on I'm up, Jen. Come on up. So we got a box. We got there. Are, are you kidding? The clueless all want to see this on Saturday. Uh, well, so <laughs> with Tommy, when was Tommy? Oh, that's enough. That's enough. When was all this planned? That's all. Oh, been going on for about a month and a half now. Excellent. You gotta believe what I found in my car. What? Crap what? No. What'd you find? Oh, I got to keep it I'm surprising her. She still thinks I'm on deployment in Japan, but we're in San Antonio, Texas right now, and I'm gonna surprise her. So I gotta hide right now. Where is she coming from? I don't know. Is she saying she's coming right now? I don't know. What did she say? She said she's coming. She can't stand over there. Did you say by the front door? Melinda, go get her from the front. Go get her inside, Melinda, and bring her. <laughs> you can do it. Hi. Hi. Nice to see you. Awkward footage right here. Really awkward footage. She's coming. She's coming. Oh, my God. Oh, God. I'm having fun. Hold mine. Don't lose it. Here we go. Here she is. Oh, it's not like you're from London. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Give her a hug. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> she just came back from Japan. <laughs> Today is Sergeant Major Mike Letterly's first day back home 
a day he's been planning for months. So when we found out the mission was going to end early, uh, my wife and I decided not to tell the kids, just in uh, off chance we could surprise them at the end. And what a surprise it was today at Southern Boone High School. I am so overwhelmed and so shocked, but I am super excited to have him home. For now, the Letterleys will go home and do one of their favorite things. Um, probably watch a movie. And they'll do it as a family again. Oh, and Dad has one last thing to say. Samantha and Trenton, Mom and Dad got you. Mike DeFranco, KRCG 13 News, Ashland. Damn. Haley's out there. Here she is. Just pulled out of the car. She's wearing my uh Somebody's surprised? That's another stick. Mama, it's cheesy. I can feel it. <laughs> morning and basically from there uh, a little van showed up and they said grab your stuff and in the van and we were here about maybe an hour and a half ago. I've been in I've been in Charleston, South Carolina since tell you. eight o'clock this morning. <laughs>
server's in on it, the bartender's in on it, and everybody else basically is in on it, so hope it goes well. Apparently they just, with hers, seem to have hamburgers. Oh my god, Kyle. What? Everybody I'm a size 14. Are you really? I gotta try it. Okay, so we're scared to get it. Uh, what? We're waiting for it. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Yeah, Jason's gonna best friend. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, right right the young girls are way more than her. Women are even more than her. Period. All of them. Any of them. All of them. It works. It's awesome. It's taken me 30 minutes to figure that out. And you know what? <laughs> I, I, I'll pass that on to anybody. Uh, hey, I thought you were. There's no better this place than that. It was a hero's welcome in Gretna. Two of our military's bravest paid a visit, spreading their message of inspiration and courage to local youths. KTV News Watch 7's Kyle Gravelin has the story. Gretna High School students bearing American flags lined the main entranceway Thursday. The patriotic presentation in place to welcome Sergeant Major Brad Casal, United States Marine Corps, and Taylor Morris, an explosive ordnance tech with the U.S. Navy. Two heroes. Severely injured, fighting for our country. Deployed to Afghanistan, stepped on an IED, uh, blew off parts of all four limbs. Morris's equipment didn't detect that underground IED back in September 2012. Casal sustained gun and shrapnel wounds while protecting a fellow injured Marine in the Battle of Fallujah. But Morris and Casal overcame all odds and survived. Now they focus on our country's future. Spreading a message of inspiration and courage. You face it every day in life. I mean, you're, you're not going to encounter and go through life without facing adversity. Facing and overcoming adversity. Something Morris says can't always be done alone. You can wing it on your own, or you can, you know, look up to somebody that, uh, you know, you kind of agree with the way they did things and, and try to follow that as best you can. Former Army Captain and now Nebraska Governor Dave Heineman also spoke at Thursday's event. These men willingly and women put their life on the line so that we enjoy all the freedoms we have today. Sergeant Major Casal cracked a couple jokes, but left students with some sage advice before departing the stage. If you just have two things, if you use two things, this and this, if you use your head and put your heart into it, you will accomplish anything. And now it's up to those students to lead us into the future. Reporting in Gretna, Kyle Gravlin, KETV News Watch 7.